Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys spending a little time with me today for uh, the video. Got a good one for you today, guys. I compiled some data on fishing lures as far as the most popular uh, lure categories based upon my own YouTube channel as far as what the viewers like to see and what they use. And um, I found some very, very surprising results when I looked at the the number of views that certain lure categories got. And um, to be honest with you, it sort of messed up a little bit. I, I want to read through both of these lists. I'm sort of gonna explain to you why, in my opinion, a lot of anglers out there spend too much time focusing on certain lure categories that are simply not as productive as others. And we're gonna go through the list here and I'm gonna explain why that is with you guys on there. Um, before we get started guys, I just wanna remind everybody out there about um, our uh, fall lake map breakdowns. We have fishthemoment.com. You guys hear me talk about this quite a bit, but we're right in the middle of the fall season now. If you guys are struggling to uh, find some good places to fish this fall on your favorite lake, uh, just visit the website. I'll put the link in the description there. It's a good way to support the channel too, so much appreciated. Okay guys, what I did is I went through um, a bunch of my videos and I sort of, uh, I made two lists. I made the list of the five most popular lure categories or the five most popular lures based upon the interest from the viewers. And then I made a list of the five least popular lure categories based upon uh, my viewers as far as what they like. And to be honest with you guys, it's completely, in, it's backwards from what I would pick on there. And I'm gonna explain why. So anyway, let's start, we'll start off the top five uh, videos as far as lure categories. Here's the most popular from you guys out there, the videos. Number one is flukes, any type of fluke video. Uh, number two is swim baits, a variety of different swim baits. Number three is floating worms. Number four is Ned rigs. And number five are Texas rig worms. Now I'm gonna go through each one of these briefly and sort of explain to you, uh, you know, what my opinion is of them and how they don't really, they don't really justify a top five video list on there. First of all, flukes. Um, flukes are a great bass catcher, don't get me wrong, but flukes are very situational and they are very, very finicky in terms of actually getting bass to eat them. A fluke gets a lot of attention from a bass under certain conditions but a lot of times they won't bite it. Now it is pretty versatile. You can fish it, uh, you know, uh, just EWG hooks or, you know, where it darts tied side to side. Some people use it on a Carolina rig. There's different ways to fish it, but a fluke is definitely the, the most popular lure category out there, even though I wouldn't even rank it in my top 10. Um, number two, swim bait. I, that, that is the one legitimate uh, lure category on this list that I probably do agree with. When we're talking about swim baits, we're talking about a variety of different swim baits, specifically the ones that are sort of in that, you know, three to four inch zone there, which a lot of people use. That is a good choice there. Number three, float and worm. Float and worm guys, again, highly situational. There's a small window of time during the year that the float and worm, floating worm will work. Um, they don't work near as good as what they used to. Bass have got conditioned to them. Really surprised that's on there. Number four, Ned Rig. Ned Rig is uh, obviously catches ton of fish, but it doesn't catch very many good fish unless you're fishing for smallmouth. Most of the time, if you're fishing a Ned Rig and you're not in a smallmouth factory, you're going to be catching smaller fish out there. And the last one, Texas Rig Worms. Um, obviously, Texas Rig Worms are a great bait. That probably sort of justifies a place on there. Although Texas Rig Worms, um, they most situations, there's usually a better choice than a Texas rig worm, although there are some situations, but <clears throat> those are the top five. <clears throat> now, the least five popular lures out there, number one was jigs. I don't understand this at all, guys. Jigs being the least popular, one of the least popular video lure categories. Guys, jigs are freaking awesome. Yeah, and it doesn't matter what type of jig, football head jig, flipping and pitching jig, finesse jig, whatever. Jigs are fish catching baits and they catch big fish. I, for for whatever reason, I do not know <clears throat> why people are not interested in jig videos because they're a freaking awesome bait and you should get interested in jig videos. Number two is crankbaits. <clears throat> Ranks right up there with jigs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Guys, crankbaits get no traction hardly on the videos. If I do a crankbait video, I don't care if it's a deep diver, medium diver, square bill, whatever. 
very little attention to crankbaits. Again, I do not understand this. A crankbait, I put a crankbait definitely in the top three bass catchers of all time. You know, they're, they catch fish 12 months out of the year. They catch numbers, they catch big ones. Crankbait is a awesome lure. I, it amazes me that a crankbait is the least, uh, the top five least popular and he got a dang floating worm that beats out a crankbait. Number three is a spinnerbait. Same deal guys, spinnerbaits are awesome lures. They are a little bit more situational than they used to be, although a spinnerbait catches the biggest fish in the lake. Spinnerbaits are big fish lures. They work in a diversity of conditions. They've been around a long time. Maybe the, maybe the newness of wore off of them, but um, spinnerbait again would be on the other side for me. Number four is a glide bait. I can sort of understand glide bait a little bit. Um, glide bait is for the most part, guys, glide baits are sort of like eye candy a little bit. They they look great. People are fascinated by glide baits, but when it comes down to the reality of them, not many people fish them and throw them. And that's why probably they're on the least popular video lure categories because even though people think they're cool, they just don't fish them because they can't catch many fish on them because they don't commit to them. And number five, and this is another one I don't understand with the jig, is creature baits. Creature baits like a Z-Hog, a beaver, that type of stuff, nobody watches them. Guys, I do not understand. Creature baits, jigs, crank baits, and spinner baits are some of the top, they would be on my top five list. They're some of the greatest lures out there, but you dudes are not watching the videos on the greatest lures out there. You're watching the videos on these lures that are super situational and um, are simply not as productive. Here's the thing, if I, if I would... Well, if we had a tournament, say say we had a tournament series of like 10 tournaments, and I gave 50 guys flukes, swim baits, floating worms, Ned rigs, and Texas rig worms, and I give the other 50 guys jigs, crank baits, spinner baits, glide baits, and creature baits, guys, the guys on the video topics that are least popular would kick anybody's butt. I don't care. You could take a, you could take the Bassmaster Elite Series pros, take the top 20 of them, and give them the list, the fluke list off the, the fluke swim bait, float and warm, Ned rig, Texas rig, and you could put them up, put them up against the bottom half or the bottom 20% of any BFL uh, tournament circuit in the country and give those guys the jigs, the crankbaits, spinnerbaits, glide baits. They would wax the Elite Series guys. So it, would, it wouldn't even be close. It'd be embarrassing. So, anyway, guys, the, the point of the matter is, um, you know, just. I guess you have to watch a little bit of everything, but specifically pay closer attention to those videos that nobody's watching. When we do a jig video, a crankbait, a spinnerbait, a glide bait, or a creature bait, you know, watch those videos because man, you're gonna catch a ton of fish on them and you're gonna catch some good ones on them too. So anyway, I thought it was interesting. Uh, thanks for tuning in, we'll talk later.